How was Julia originally described to you? Um, I don't remember. I just read the script, I think. So, and I, and I don't remember reading the description of the character first. I just jumped in, into the script and I got so mesmerized and intrigued and thrilled that I got asked to play this part. This has such a talented cast to it. Were you excited to share a scene or scenes with someone in particular? <clears throat> Playing with Otto was great. I'm looking forward to what he's going to turn out doing in his acting career. He's, he's really talented. And also played a lot of with um, Jason Wong. Um, and we, yeah, he's also great. And um, Kevin McNally who's obviously a big actor and, and having scenes with him because they have a close relationship. Um, that was, you know, just meeting an actor of that scale was, um, yeah, a joy. Um, and Thomas, who plays Yasin, also great. There's so much intensity and action-packed scenes to this series. Was that also what drew you to be a part of it? I think mainly what drew me to it was how she, the way the script was written that it's not it's so complex and it took me a while to really figure out who is good who is bad uh, and and what's <laughs> and all the relationships and everything and so I, I think the whole package and this uh, intriguing intriguing part drew me to the project because I was I didn't know anything about Alex Ryder before Every episode is must watch. Are there moments though, or maybe episodes you can tease without giving too much away for season three that you're excited for people to get a chance to explore? Yeah, something that is was really exciting for me that was shot a lot in, in old cathedrals in, in the UK that we really shot on location in these magnificent churches and with this art and everything and then we have these action scenes within this church. It, it felt unreal. And we also shot during night because it's obviously uh, tourist during the daytime. So it created a very specific atmosphere for us uh, on set. It's such beautiful cinematography to the series as well. Mm -hmm. The cathedrals must have been incredible to shoot and talk about filming on location. Uh, as I said, I, I know we've shot in one cathedral where they shot um, Harry Potter as well. And I could really recognize like the the style of the, the architecture. And I'd never been to these kind of uh, cathedrals before in my life. So I was just stunned. And then we went to Malta and we shot um, there for two, three weeks, I think. And I've never been to Malta either. So that was also breathtaking i mean uh, it's uh um everything is old and ancient and beautiful every episode as we said is much must watch because of the intensity and intrigue that goes into these episodes how did you shake off a long day of being on the series um you would think that playing a dark character would like stick to your mindset somehow but I got it's I guess it's a it's a lifetime of suppressing anger that made it very 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 nice and relaxing to be such a character actually isn't that strange so I it wasn't I I, I actually have to say this shootings I mean it's it's a lot to do such a part and it's a a lot of uh, scenes and texts and everything but for me I never I wasn't in pain and I guess that's because I the character is so cut off somehow so I <laughs> I couldn't bring my own stuff in in that sense I'm curious when you step into Julia's costume is that how you find her or is it easy at this point for you to slip in and out by on your own. I, I know we touched on you slipping out of character, but when it comes to getting into her shoes, does it take you finding her costume before you can find her? Um, it, it was, we had a long fitting in London before and uh, Emma, the great 
um, designer, she 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 made this helped me make these choices about the character and her outfit, and together with the wig and everything, it was like I came all together with her because it's so far from how I mean my wardrobe is nothing. <laughs> I mean it's it's a mess. So and I just you know I never I very rarely wear it something like this or so 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 she's very different from me and that really helped me I me mean, walking in heels being that somehow narrow put together not vivid mm. Alex Ryder is such a popular series what does it mean to you to be a part of such a well-received show oh you know what maybe it was good that I didn't know that beforehand because <laughs> I just saw, wow, this is a fantastic part. I want to do this. And then I realized what Universal Alex Rider is. So, and that was probably good. I could relax and have more fun. You're a part of social media. Are you excited for fans to get a chance to explore Julia here shortly and then I, message you with their thoughts? Absolutely. Really excited. Yeah. I am. And I guess it's going to be new followers uh, compared to what I've had. So it's going to be interesting to see how I hope it lasts well. What would you like to say then to everyone who are fans and supporters of the incredible work you do on our screen, Sophia? Um, oh, I'm just grateful to have an audience that um, people like this series and I got to be a part of it. And I'm, I'm, I'm still so grateful that I can work as an actor. I mean, it's it's um, it's a fantastic opportunity to, to play, to be able to be a child, even though I've grown up. So uh, I'm very grateful, to be honest, really grateful. 